Hey, what is up guys? This is your fish guy here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a beta community fish tank. So, this is where my beta has been all this while. Uh, he's been alone. There's no gravels, there's no decoration. There's just filter and light. So, this is the general aid. This is basically for dechlorination of water. So, you guys can give a pause and look at the details behind. We also have the blue liquid. Uh, this is basically called Dr. Blue. This is basically the methylene blue. Uh, this is the one that I used to save my beta fish once when he was sick. This was a year back. So you can again give a pause and look at the details. So uh, you can use it for your fish. So this is one sample from my aquatic stones. Uh, we basically handpicked all these stones and some are used for the pond and very few are used for the aquarium So here's what I call the prison for any fish So don't ever use round glass bowls for fish. It's a prison for them These are some well grinded tiny little gravels bought from the shop So this is how it looks when you add a few drops of dechlorinator in the water So this is my favorite part, aquascaping. Decorating any pond or any aquarium is the most important or most interesting part. So I've also got a bunch of colorful rocks, uh, so I've handpicked just blue and green of it. So well, well, just customize however you like. I'm adding those bigger rocks uh, just to give an attractive look. So yeah, you can turn on the filter and allow it to cycle for a few hours. Uh, basically this water is cycled, so a few hours is enough for me. Hey Rose Bolton, look you're going back to your house. He was quite aggressive in the beginning, he didn't like the company of Guppy and the Molly fish. But uh, it took a few days, maybe two or three and he's now really calm with all the fish. I've added stress reducer and paracure, now he's really active and happy. Looks like I should add some frames in the bottom. Uh, there's Pleco down there, a few Guffies and Mollies, uh, and I have a beta fish, and I think I should add some Neon Tetras and end it over there. So here's a clip of me feeding the fish, so the beta basically doesn't attack any of the fish while having their food. You need to train your beta a little bit to be uh, comfortable with all the other fish. Uh, they shouldn't be aggressive all the time. So this needs a lot of your involvement. Uh, once this is done, you've got the best beta fish. So that's it guys, thanks for watching. Uh, uh, you guys are really great. Thanks for keeping me active. So although I wasn't available for at least a month, uh, for more than a month basically, you guys reached me out personally at Instagram, uh, my Facebook account and asked me for the reasons and thank you so much. Uh, so I'm back basically so, so I'll be making more videos every week. So thank you guys. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Facebook. Uh, also please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.